Nicholas, tell us about this range of uh, multi-Swiss machines. Okay, so here we have a multi-Swiss A26, but we have also a smaller machine, multi-Swiss 616, and a bigger machine, multi-Swiss 632. And the newest machines to the range, which ones are they? Are they the bigger ones? The bigger one or the newest, yes. Yeah. So why have you introduced bigger machines into this range? Because of the popularity of the smaller ones? So we had to face a huge success uh, for the small multi-Swiss 6x16. And of course, the demand on the market was so high, we had to make a new product. So this is why we come with the multi-Swiss A26 and 632. Now, my, my knowledge of multi-spindle machines is reasonably limited, which is good for this interview because a lot of engineers may be the same. I want you to just maybe uh, tell me some of the differences between this sort of technology and old multi-spindle machines. What, what's, what's changed? So here, basically, we change the ergonomy of the machine so it's more user-friendly. So we can come inside the machine, so we have easy access and uh, fast access to the tool so we can make fast changeover. You can see we have access everywhere. And of course, we also use the popular TB Deco system that we have ever used on single spindle machine. Okay, now talking about the multi-spindle functionality here, you've got eight spindles on this machine. Does that mean then that you're doing a different operation on each spindle? Is that how it works? Yes, this is how it works. Uh, we have eight stations with two or three axes depending on the configuration you need. And of course, uh, you can have different type of tooling or driven attachment, which offer you uh, from simple to complex part machining. So every time that uh, indexes, you get a finished component, correct? Exactly. So you have uh, on station number eight, you can have a finished part every cycle. What, what, what about the actual um, the spindles on here? I mean, they're quite small, aren't they? Is it, have they got a lot of power? How, how are they built? So, uh, as you know, on mechanical uh, spindle, normally you use one front bearing and two back bearing. So here on multi-Swiss, and it's only on Tornos machine, you will find hydrostatic bearing. Okay, and what does that hydrostatic give you? So it means we remove the front mechanical bearing and we have oil instead of the bowl. Okay, now what about the, 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 the indexing itself here as well? How is that mechanism? What's the mechanics of that? Because so, that needs to be precision, doesn't it? It needs exactly. to be precision and, and stable. So here we have a motor torque, which means we don't have a coupling with a earth coupling, for example. And uh, we, it's like a big C axis, I would say. You can control exactly the position of the, of the drum. And then what about, uh, let's say for example, you mentioned earlier about each spindle doing a two or three axis operation. Yes. So how do I go about programming then? Do I, am I just programming eight different two and three axis programs and then putting them all together? I would say, and it's just an image, but it's quite easy to understand. It's like having eight single spindle machine with two or three axes, nothing else. So on your programming software, you have one line one station, nothing else. One of the, call it complaints or drawbacks of uh, older multi-spindle machines is the amount of time it takes to set them. Is there a difference with this model or this range of machines? Yes, Paul, so you're right. It was a huge waste of time. It was too long. And now with the multi-suisse and the new tool line coming from Autor and Golden Boat, our two partners for multi-suisse, we have a fast changeover because it's more modular and it's more flexible. So if you were to compare an older machine to this latest technology, and I know it is application specific, but how long would it maybe take you to change from part to part? How quickly could you anticipate doing that? The average changeover time would be between two to three hours. Two to three hours, that's incredibly quick compared to older machines, isn't it? Yes, it's very quick. And, and what about the feeding of, of the bar in this machine, the integration between the feed and the machine? Is there any, any compromise there or is there any concerns with vibration and things like that? So on multi-Swiss, we don't use bar feeder. It's a standard pressure and uh, it's very fast. We need only 13 to 15 seconds to load the new bar on the station. Uh, tell us about the plug and play on this machine for like the tooling and, and the coolant, etc. So we have totally six plug and play slots where you can fix uh, driven attachment or high frequency spindle, so it brings more complexity for machining. And also we have integrated coolant pipes, so it goes through the plates and comes directly to the tool. 
How long will it take you to change one of those tools, let's say for a, a driven tool or a live tool? A driven tool could be up to 20 minutes. Okay, but it's still quick though, 20 minutes change over and then your new tool in. I know I'm focusing a lot on time here, but also what about the collets? How long does it take to, to change those? One set of collets would be changed in about 40 minutes. It's very fast because we can change everything from the front. Okay, now, okay, it, I, I've learned a lot here on this, um, on this presentation from you, Nicholas. What I'd like to do to summarize is for you to maybe give me four bullet points, four highlights of this machine and what makes it different and better than its competition. So first would be the save of cost and time thanks to the hydrostatic technology. It will save time because you will have a longer tool life. Because you've got less vibration. Yes, because you have less vibration. The second highlight would be the footprint. The machine is compact. Everything is integrated from high pressure pump to a push rod for the bar. And uh, the third highlight would be the easiness for the operator and the accessibility to change everything in the machine. The fourth highlight would be the fast efficiency of the machine because you have less stop. Is, is there a cost advantage to this machine as well now compared to older multi-spindle technology? You've made these efficiencies. Is it, is it less money? Yes, it's less, less money, clearly, because you have uh, less expensive tools, less expense in stop. So in the end, it costs less. And the two new models, just remind me what they are and the bar diameter that you can, uh, you can turn up to. So the multi-Swiss 8 by 26 can machine bar up to 26 millimeter and the 6 by 32 can machine up to 32 millimeter.